Morning, guys. So, uh, I've been up for a no, long time. Mind. Dr. Schramm. Very long Truth time. Be told, after now it's like 8 o'clock, but I have my morning cup of coffee and my You're So Love cup. It's so cute. But, uh, did the same thing. We still haven't got coffee, you know. We were at the grocery store and I was like, no. Well, I actually can't find the second part to the Keurig. For the Keurig, you have to have like a little insert. We have this separate thing, but, um,. This isn't like you put your own coffee in here, but we like to get the kind that already comes in there. You just like throw it in and go. So I misplaced somehow somewhere. Don't even know where the other piece is, but there's two separate pieces that make up something that looks like this. That's hollow on the inside, but it also has needles in it to stab holes into the cup to make it go through or whatever. And I can't find it. I'm not sure what happened to it. Anyways, I had lots of work to do today. It's freaking cold outside. It is 40 something. So it's 40s right now, which is exciting. That's why I'm in my getup, which I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Philip Lim uh, sweatshirt from Target. I'm wearing my old college um, uh, sweatpants and my new tinny shoes. But I'm probably about to take these pants off because it's not that hot in here. But outside, guys, it is so beautiful like look at the sun coming through the windows you see how you can barely see how clear it is but Rocky Josh snug as a bug in a rug and clothes just out and about still watching bones I'm about to start getting some stuff done my phone I do have insurance uh, insurance is gonna pay for it so uh, the company is actually about to send me Placement, look how bad it's gotten. You can see completely through it. Anyways. Yeah, I gotta edit those vlogs, which I've been saying I would do for the past three days. Yeah, so, wish me luck. Let's for a little walk. I'm letting them get out of the house. Rocky started crying. And so, he usually doesn't do that. So, I was like, hmm, let's go ahead and bring him for a little walk. So. So they're doing smelling, peeing, smelling, peeing. You know, I'm just probably gonna do a lap and then bring them back inside, but it's a really beautiful day right now. You can tell. Well, Rocky's sunbathing. Is <laughs> so at the very least, you can connect with the me half. Good, right? This is gonna be a great mom. Well, it'll definitely be good. With There's another little spot, but Chloe has to try to go after that one. When her fine motor skills mm -hmm. develop, we can dissect problems. My breasts are very sore. Would you mind if I spend the evening naked? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fine with me. In the nice entire year. house, she got a little bitty block of sun on the back. <laughs> Sorry. Brennan. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. The victim was Oliver Lawrence. Lawrence. I said Lawrence. Look in the file. Wasn't there a Lawrence that worked at the shipping train? Yes. Oliver Lawrence. He worked there for five years. You just see, baby. You just see, baby. Yeah. <laughs> she loves the camera, and the camera loves you. So <laughs> She's like, I know it's worth the Robert, camera. Work it. Be a lion. <laughs> I teach her everything I know. She's a natural. <laughs> okay, guys, so I am at Garrett's job waiting on him. I brought him some food, which um, my phone, the. I bought. Um, so. Sorry about that. Uh, I got some stuff on the lens. I think it's from when Chloe liked it. But anyways, uh, yes, we are. Well, I'm waiting on Garrett right now. He's supposed to be coming out here in about 15 minutes. And I've already started eating. I got syrups and I just grubbing. I got him. I get chicken shawarma uh, plate, which comes with hummus and salad and rice. But I switched out today the rice for mac and cheese. And Garrett, I just got him the gyro plate, which is the lamb and beef blended together sliced so uh with parmesan egg, eggplant potato parmesan 
and uh, another side of mac and cheese. He loves the mac and cheese. And his little lemonade. So yeah, I'm just waiting on him. I sent him a text at 10.30 telling him my phone was being shut off at 10.30. And that if he needed to get in touch with me, he won't be able to. But I would be here at 11.30. So I'm waiting on my boo. Anyways, um, yeah, I had to turn it off because they activated another phone for me that are uh, overnighting it to me tonight. And um, then... Uh, they're sending my phone to get it fixed or get a new phone and I'll send back As soon as I get that package in the overnight, then I'll shoot back my phone that I have now and then um, After they get it back then they'll do it again. I'll ship back the refurbished Refurbished little phone that I have at the moment. Anyways, that's what I'm doing So I have no for me entertainment. I usually just get my uh, pop out my YouTube and just like watch a bunch of YouTubers but or vlogs or anything like that and right now I cannot do that so it's so weird and kind of sad but I have the sunroof open it's actually really hot I have the car off but yeah just waiting and sitting and eating and thinking so the 29th vlog is uploading as we speak right now, and the other one's, uh, yesterday's vlog is edited, I just need to upload. So this one gets done. Oh, it, lot, it, lot, it. I'm so tired. Anyways, um, you'll notice like in the past vlogs I've been trying to wake up earlier. Um, I'm trying to get on Garrett's schedule, and I would like to, um, wake up when he wakes up, go to sleep when he goes to sleep. Last night we tried to go to bed at 7.30, ended up being like 9 o'clock. Um, so there's that. And this morning, since it was that late, I didn't get up and out of bed till 4 o'clock. And he was already up at 2.30. Um, we just got a little bit more time to like mess with and try to get up at the same time so I can see him more and he can see me more. But yeah. Um, I'm trying to make his food for lunch every single day so I don't have to bring him syrups and save us a little bit of money and so he doesn't have to wait till he's dying to call me for me to come up here at a certain specific time because he doesn't have any breaks at all throughout the day he works like 12 13 hour days <coughs> with maybe like a 30 minute break maybe two 30 minute breaks but he doesn't he still didn't get a break it's just when he doesn't have a client so sucks for him um he just doesn't time manage himself better he makes his own schedule and um he just doesn't uh do it like he should anyways um also we've been eating so rotten for the like the whole month of march so april i mean i'm we have never well back in high school we were always like monday monday is when we're gonna do it that's when we change everything around because be at the beginning of the week but i think april is gonna be our month of cutting down and like really focusing on our health because um a lot of you know that I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis which if you don't know I'm gonna make a formal video about this I tried before but I got way too emotional about it um which I've I've come to terms better now than I did before with it so I can talk to it to you guys a lot easier with it um but basically it makes it really difficult for you to have babies my mom had a really hard time having us. Um, she had a few miscarriages and then she had us, which she calls us her miracle babies. But, um, and she just had endometriosis and something else. I can't remember what it is. She, where she had to sit down her first trimester. Usually had to sit, uh, be like, a lot of people have to be bedridden their last trimester. But hers was her first. So like, um, the embryo could attach or whatever. But mine, it's just my, uh, over, whenever I ovulate, um, <clears throat> well, pretty much I don't ovulate. So, once a month, a woman ovulates, and whenever the egg comes down, whenever your body's supposed to ovulate, your body makes, uh, releases one egg, sometimes two, sometimes three, um, but they're all in a fluid sac, and whenever you ovulate, they pop out of the sac, and, um, or where a sperm can come and attach itself to it or um you know you know how that works guys if you're watching my videos you should know how that works if you're old enough but 
mine don't come out of the sack and so it fills with more fluid and it turns into a cyst and one even actually turned to a tumor so I had a tumor removed my senior year in high school it was pretty huge they said that it was the size of a golf ball if it got any bigger then it would have ruptured my uterus I'm, my uterus my ovary so I got that removed but I still have the problem um, it's pretty much polycystic ovarian syndrome poly meaning multi uh, like uh, cysts so I have at least 15 cysts in each ovary at any given moment um, that means I'm not ovulating that's a lot of eggs and sometimes I uh, the cysts will like absorb back into your body and um, pretty much my body is shooting out multiple eggs to try to compensate and it's all due with hormone imbalance and like thyroid and all that crap so Garrett knows a lot about it it's just we haven't really been taking it seriously I mean, he tries to lecture me and stuff about taking it seriously but he never really goes 100% of the way with it I guess it doesn't really describe it well to me or explain it well um so yeah and it's just I don't know so we're just live day by day not knowing if we're ever gonna have children or not and I've coped with it better I mean it still eats away at me it eats away at him um, I told him yesterday I feel like I'm like damaged goods you know where like I'll be the reason why he can't have his own child I asked me the other day if he wanted to adopt because I'm all for adopting and he was like he doesn't see how that he could ever love an adopted child like he would love his own like he wouldn't have that connection um but we're not planning on having kids right now or in the very near future anyway so that's not an issue I just we just need to get our health on point because you've seen in the last couple of vlogs we've had cupcakes we've had I didn't show you this morning but I had a chocolate hazelnut croissant and um We've been eating very poorly. Not even like uh, regular food very poorly. We've just been eating a lot of sweets. And with the cupcakes, we only ate two of them because the other two were just like horrid. That vegan one, oh my god. It literally tasted like peanut butter cardboard. Like it literally tastes like you took a bite out of cardboard, which still freaks me out as I sit here and think. But anyways, I've been jabbering for a very long time. Garrett still got a little while to come out here, but I'm gonna finish eating my lunch and I will talk to you, I guess, when I get home. Walking again with a Rocky and a Clover who's pulling the crap out of her daddy. But, um, yeah. I got me a Spango, apple juice, mango, kale, and spinach. 16 ounce, too. Not bad for $4.99. Okay, so we just left Whole Foods. And um, I got me, which I told y'all in there, it's a green juice. It's the, uh, what was it? Spango. It has spinach, mango, kale, and apple. The flavor is actually really good. It's just the um, texture trying to kind of got me cause, from the kale. But, anyways, Garrett got this thing called the beetle juice. And it had cranberries, pomegranate, um, carrot, ginger, and I think there's one more thing, but he says that's it. But yes, so we did that. And then for dinner, we got just one of the chip noodle bowls. Been craving it. Oh, and it smells like sewage over here though, but. Mm. Oh, damn. But anyways, we got these little they have these things called the truffle pigs by Hagensburg. So I got the caramel, uh, milk caramel caramel al <laughs> a latte or whatever. And Garrett got the dark hazelnut noisette noir. I don't know. Anyways, we're on our way home. We just came mainly for milk and coffee. Oh, and this is what the little pig looks like. Hmm. There's caramel in there. Okay. It's pretty good. My bonnet's completely on the side of my head. And I have no idea. Can I try yours? Uh, mm mm. Take it, take it, take it, and drop it in your car. I just haven't seen it. I don't want it anymore. No, oh, yeah. Why didn't you just take it? 
you can taste the richness of the dark chocolate and there's a slight hint of the hazelnut that was really good this was pretty good too it's just i actually liked it better that lab oh yeah noodle bowl from office and i'm having it with full green juice so just have a little bit left proud of myself Rocky's just such a cutie papa 2D. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to show you private. Hello. Okay. I'm going to munch. I'm so excited. You want some? Nope. He likes the green juice too. Here it has this uh, phone on songs. Uh, so we're just jamming out as we're walking around the park. Oh my god, that's so many. Wait, stop. Isn't that many turtles?